Hello, my name is Corey Sheldon, author of the Valley of Progress series, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at what the Valley of Progress series is. So if you're unfamiliar with the books, Valley of Progress is essentially a retro-futurist adventure story. So it takes place in a fictional world, but if you imagine an era similar to, say, the late Industrial Revolution era, maybe early 20th century, and imagine the technologies that existed then in a somewhat romantic way, and imagine what a future would be like if those uh, technologies persisted. So in this first book, we establish the setting of the series. Uh, we follow an industrialist who convinces a group of people to go up into the world's highest mountain range and undiscovered land where he claims he's going to create the world's most advanced, most progressive society. So kind of a classic mountain climbing adventure. And then once we get into the main trilogy of books, uh, we have this society that it has existed for a couple of generations. And we start to see the kind of weight and consequences of these uh, industrialists and their idealism and this kind of unrelenting pursuit they have um, of this highly progressive, highly advanced, uh, highly technological society. And the book mostly follows a kind of small group of characters who come from various backgrounds, whose lives are affected in heavy, sometimes very tragic ways, and then they need to decide you know, if they want to decide to um, kind of work together or fight together against these powers that are trying to control the city. So we have a retired law enforcement agent, there's a engineer, there's an art teacher who's kind of a revolutionary environmentalist, there's an older couple that have a farm, a woman who owns an orphanage, a young heir to uh, an industrial dynasty who's kind of disillusioned by his family. And so there's a lot of character building kind of built within kind of the context and the atmosphere of this kind of high-tech world. Uh, and we follow as they kind of grow up, maybe retire, maybe go from adolescence to a young adult. Uh, so the book series takes place over a number of years. Um, and inside of this, and all of this kind of technology, there's some kind of class warfare and things like that that exist. Uh, we also have uh, at the one end of this valley, this dark, mysterious forest um, where people have started to kind of build this kind of folklore and legends about it. Uh, it's a place that nobody really goes, really. Um, there's kind of rumored that there's some kind of kind of ancient force that exists in there. Um, something or maybe someone lives in there. People um, kind of rumor sort of what they think um, that is, but um, that kind of power is something that slowly starts to reveal itself throughout uh, the story and kind of explains um, maybe kind of another history of the valley itself. So a lot of character building, a lot of world building. Um, there's also kind of a lot of atmosphere in this kind of art deco illustrated world. Um, there's also illustrations in the book. There's kind of advertisements for uh, businesses that exist inside of the world um, that you'll see here. So there's a handful of these. There's also blueprints uh, for things that exist uh, inside of the world as well. So just this idea of this kind of fascination of technology and building huge structures and fast cars and things like that um, just kind of helps to build out kind of the, the kind of ideas and spirit of this society. Um, while also kind of dealing with real human beings as they're sort of uh, coping with all of this uh, ideology um, and trying to live their lives and make sure that dark, greedy forces uh, don't get the best of them. So uh, hopefully that helps you um, have a little a better understanding of what this series is. And um, if you uh, get into them, uh, I would recommend reading this uh, first book here and then going into the first novel and then going into the next archive and then the next uh, novel, etc. So, um, yeah, hope you uh, dig into the books and let me know what you think of them.